Hey, this is another episode of Candace Michelle Views where I give my opinion on what I am viewing, what the mainstream platforms are putting out as far as YouTube, cable, radio, whatever you could think of. If I see something and I get a vibe, I make a video. So today I just want to backtrack on some things that I have said prior where I did say I was keeping my eye on some people and um, some things occurred. I usually don't make videos on the week days but I just had to put this out since it was the dates were kind of significant of um yeah let's just get this started that was funny he said real broke so we put it to be mainstream he ain't there yet <laughs> shout out to the homie who just who just called that made my day today my born day so you know I'm, I'm trying to have a whole bunch of my born day so you know Today my born day, so you know I'm, I'm trying to have a whole bunch of laughs, eat good. So I'm, I'm trying to have. I know you're probably like, why she keep rewinding that part? So usually I, re I rewind parts in my video where I feel like I caught something that made me make this video. And obviously this is what I caught, which is what made me make this video. So let's just continue on. Well, at least let's give a shout out to Emrek. It's, it is his birthday. So happy birthday to Emrek. And let's continue on. A whole bunch of day. Today my born day. So you know, I'm, I'm trying to have a whole bunch of laughs, eat good. You feel me? And um, talk to good people. Um, I missed a few calls. Hit me right back. You know? Okay, so let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's also give a birthday shout out to Fab. Happy birthday, Fab. Yeah. I mean, when I get a vibe, I get a vibe. I know I'm being annoying with my nose not being done, but guess what? I like it natural. It's all good. You know, I get my nose when I, when I feel like it. So leave me. Yeah. So today is MREC's birthday. Happy birthday. In less than 48 hours, it'll be fabulous birthday. He'll be celebrating. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, you know, guys, when I try to tell you guys that these YouTubers are compromised, I wish you guys believe me. They're, they're, when they're putting on these celebrities, uh, talking about them, the only thing they're doing is helping get their agenda across with capturing people's minds of these fake stories that they talk about with these celebrities. They, If they don't know these stories are fake, I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure how we could give them that excuse i'm pretty sure they are well aware of how things are moving and they're still promoting these people so that just gives me the the it, to make me feel that these people are compromised you know like they're probably playing a dual role and of course that's the dual role i really feel like he he's playing a dual role and and, and don't think fabulous is it, it, it is is not doing um youtubes and acts for 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 cash apps because guess what he's not like the top five. he's not I don't even think he's in top five you know so don't I, I don't see why he wouldn't snatch up some cash apps from YouTube. All right, homie, thanks. Hello, yeah, that was funny. He said Rick Ross still pushing to be mainstream. He ain't there yet. <laughs> Shout out to the homie who just who just called. That made my day. Today my born day. So you know I'm, I'm trying to. Yeah, so I mean. Just this picture alone, we see what, what, what team he plays with. We see what team he plays on, you know? And I have to just point out the symbolism just to, for the people that can't see in the back. Okay? Then I want you to see the captation, you know? Just wanted you to see the captation. She's wowing. So this, this, this post came out not too long after I made that first video stating that I was getting a vibe that M Rec was um masked up playing Fabulous was playing him and M Rec has somewhat of like a, a clay piece adding on to the chubbiness of his face. But I feel like the eye, the left eye, they got everything going so well together. And now when I was calling them twins, I could literally say it's a fact because they're like literally forty eight hours apart. So um as you heard M Rec, he said he's not even gonna really celebrate his birthday because literally he probably know his birthday is really 
in 48 hours and he's, he's just saving his energy for the real person you know to celebrate their birthday so anyway yeah that's it. let's 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 move on so as i stated the the she wilding i felt it was an indirect post to me then he obviously did the the symbolism in that post which felt like he was mocking you know the fact that we're giving out the you know that these people are on YouTube and mask, but anyway. Yeah, I, I, I don't really want to be wrong, but listen. He has this partner, Emrek, right? Name Amina. They are like Trump supporters posting Q posts. Everyone knows Q and G and all that is the same stuff. The G-men. And the Q, they're all in the same umbrella. So if you're going to give Q drops and give all this Trump information, you know, you, you got to be a compromised person. These people have, they're too old to, to not know any better. So you got to understand that these are compromised people getting paid and they're putting on a, a, a show as usual. This is no more than them getting on stage and performing. They're over here on YouTube doing the same thing. So, I mean, I just wanted to give some side by sides. I mean, I'm... I don't know what people are not catching, but if they don't look alike, then I, I'm I would apologize. But I'm just I'm just not seeing any anywhere where I would say, oh, I'm wrong. I just don't see it. I, I see I see where I'm I'm pretty much on point. And I said before I don't know, but now they're just they're just nailing themselves to the, you know, to the they're just nailing they just put the last nail in the coffin. If you ask me. You know, yeah, and I'm not gonna leave his little partner out. So she, um, she never would post her picture, and everyone kept saying, "We want to see what you look like. We want to see." Now, mind you, I watch their channel. I, I watch everyone. I watch. I watch a lot of channels. I'm not really a a fan of his channel because he does a lot of these, um celebrities uh things but if you're into the celebrity stuff then go go for it but um he does have a cool channel um it, i just don't like the stories because i know they're not real stories so why invest in those stories but if you are into the what's going on now and you want to probably just comment here on what's going on i do catch some of those current events so if i wanted to get some information of my, my videos i do have to unfortunately go through that grueling listening to about celebrities sometimes you got to go through that to get your information to help people stop like stop dealing with celebrities you got to actually listen to them so my whole point of doing research is with celebrities is hope and hope to, that i could overturn some of you people that are invested in them and 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 stop invested in them my whole goal is for people to stop supporting and and watching celebrities and start investing and supporting the people they actually know so you don't have to worry about um are they just uh making us follow them you know and are they putting bad things in our head and things like that so just follow your people that you know and your family and stop following these people because they're definitely giving you information and having you behave certain ways unbeknownst to you um, because there is just, that's just the way how manipulation works. It's just like, you don't even know listening to a song is going to have you behave on certain emotions. Some songs are going to make you cry out of nowhere or make you think. So just try to untap from these people and life could be a lot better for what I think. But, um, yeah. So anyway, a lot of people was asking her to post her picture. So she had posted a picture, not this one, but it was a different one that I showed in my first video. She kept posting that picture. Like, look, I'm not ugly, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, she was giving me Mary J. Vod, but I didn't get it. But then she doesn't really post this one, but she posts this like two times. She flashed it out two times. And when I say this was just what I was talking about, like, this is what I was talking about. Like, the vibes are there, okay? She loves blonde hair, just just like Mary. And if if you don't see the resemblance... Just like, just like Emrek, I don't know what to tell you. It, it, this is a coincidence that Emrek and Mary J. Blige was supposed to be doing a song in the studio around a time that they were in this, Amina and Emrek was in, in doing whatever they do. 
And I was I was like, all right, maybe they are in the studio making a song, Fab and, and Mary J. Blige. Great. I'll wait for it. Guys, I'm I'm still waiting. I I, I want to hear some music. I love these guys. I want to hear it. No, no music has surfaced yet. And I hope some does. Because if they were in the studio, some music should be. And they were making magic. They never said they were making music. They just said they were making magic in the studio. You know, I would love to hear the song. You know? Yeah, and just to give you some background, these women are both from Harlem, the Bronx, the same. You know, she's Amina is claiming she's not from New York anymore, but she was originally from the Bronx or maybe Harlem. And everyone knows Mary J. Blige is like from the Bronx or Harlem, which is basically the same kind of. They they have the same theme. M. Rec and Fab is both from Brooklyn. I cannot confirm M. Rec identity. He's supposed to be from East New York. Um, he's a little bit of a different age group for me, but you would think somebody would say, hey, I went to school with him or this and that, but I have not gotten that as of yet. But as I stated, we're not in the same age group, so maybe I have not came across the right people. Um, but hopefully we could get some confirmations for him. But it's just the same kind of story with, with M. Rec and Fabulous being from Brooklyn. Fab is from Brevoit. Um, which is kind of like the star, Bad Stuyvesant, and M. Rec is supposed to be from East New York. So they try to give them different locations, but same borough. Just like with Mary J. Blige and Amina, they're both from Uptown. One is saying they're from Harlem, one is saying from the Bronx, but Uptown is Uptown. I mean, come on. You could walk up the block from Harlem and you'll be in the Bronx. Um, if, you, if you're by 100, you'll be by Spanish. You go up Spanish Harlem and you'll be damn near in the Bronx. So they're doing the same things. With, with their characters. And it, that's you got to follow the patterns to understand that you're in the right direction. You know? And me trying to give you guys a good picture of them two together just to show you that the resemblance is there. And it, as I state, the, with, yeah, I'm just trying to um, find like a dark area because the, the light was glaring. And yeah, here we go. And just let it focus in. There we go. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, stop. Guys, guys, stop. Stop. She's wearing a mask. And she doesn't even show herself in person, the Amina lady. Because probably the mask just probably doesn't work well in person. I don't know. Ever since I said that first video about M. Rec, he has not been doing any live shows. He's been putting up this, this emoji still frame. He did like one live really fast in one video. And I mean, I just don't, before when I was watching his videos, he was always live. And then he started putting old lives up. And then he started, and anything new he was putting up, he was doing stills. So it's like, what was the point of that? But only, and not because of what I said. It was because actually, if you, I follow Fab on the Instagram, Fab was very busy. He was doing like certain parties in a show. And then now his birthday's coming up. So maybe the mask just ain't really easy to throw on really fast. So he's just not really messing with the lives on YouTube right now. And this lady never showed herself live. But it looks like she's m masked up like, like M. Rec with the chubbier face playing the secondary role. And she's like a very aggressive talker. If you see Mary J. Blige on Power 2, you see they're making her play this aggressive role. They're both Capricorns. Um, M. Rec and... She, Amina and Mary J. Blige are both Capricorns. Um, M. Rec and Fab, now I have confirmed. I didn't even know, but now I have confirmed they're both Scorpios. I mean, guys, we got to stop acting like these people won't come up and do these, these skits. I saw something on a clip where Jim Carrey said that he doesn't really mess with the biz anymore, but if a, a role occurs and it fits him and he fits the role, he goes and he has to play it, which basically in other words mean that if they need him to do something really quick and it fits him, he got to come and do it. That's, that's, it doesn't, it's not about the checks. It's about they, this is, they're a part of the team and they have to play, be a team player. To get whatever they, these people are trying to accomplish, which is mind control, which is which is brainwashing, you know, and they're going to do it on every platform. Anybody that's getting a uh, hundred and something thousand views and they're just talking about celebrities all day, just know that they, they might have a mask on.
you know, or they might be um, grown up in these little gated area communities, um, just like Joe, Judge Joe Brown. I'm going to try to do something on him because he has this big platform talking about Ike and Tina Turner. And he's saying how he used to see them riding up the block and they'll stop and talk to him and cur Tina curse him out and Ike would be nice. First of all, how did you even know celebrities like that at a young age and then end up being a judge? These people are growing up in communities, you know, and, and they know they're going to be infiltrating the world. So, you know, this is all I have. I just wanted to do a quick video on this. I, I will be back on the weekend um, with the other videos I couldn't upload last week because they gave me such a hard time with the Miranda and the Avril Lavigne video. I don't know why they didn't want me to post that, but it took hours. So I couldn't do the rest of my videos. And I usually don't do videos on the weekdays. Um, I'm really busy, but you know, I just couldn't help myself with this. I, I'm not going to let MREC not get wished a happy birthday you know so yeah have a good night <laughs> like share and subscribe comment and peace